I'm delighted to be speaking to the third reading of the Sentencing and Parole Reform Bill, and I'd just like to acknowledge the committee for all of their hard work, for the staff, for corrections and police, and also for um, ACT David Garrett, and for the, for the excellent work that's been done in the process of this bill. Uh, this has been a milestone, and I'm delighted that we're on the third reading and that this bill will be enacted, because keeping the public safe is one of the most fundamental obligations of any government. And it's not about being soft on crime, which is exactly what the opposition are, because Labor says that this legislation could result in disproportionate sentences for offenders at stage three. Well, this government makes no apology for that, because by stage three, an offender has been convicted of two previous violent offences and has been warned, both verbally and in writing, on two different occasions of the consequences of further convictions for serious violent offenders. And this is about serious violent offending. And I'd just like to point out that all of these serious violent offences are actually identified in Clause 5 of the Bill. And these, the specifications for these serious violent offences are actually in the Crimes Act 1961. And the reason why I say that is because some queries were raised about the specifications for the serious violent offences. Uh, and those, one of the queries was raised by the AIDS Foundation, who I have had the privilege of being a member of. And I was pleased that they did raise the matter, and we were able to clarify for them that the specifications for their particular area of concern are in the Crimes Act, but the actual offence is identified in the Sentencing, Parole and Law Reform Bill. Because, let's face it, is it is a serious violent offence to actually willfully inflict a disease AIDS upon another member of the public. That is, a, if anybody accepts otherwise, then they are deluding themselves. There is nothing that is, a, that is acceptable about the willful passing of such a disease onto another human being. And so that is a serious violent offence and is rightly identified in the schedule of serious violent offences. And the specifications for that can be found in the Crimes Act 1961. So it's been around for a long time. Nobody should be any doubt, in any doubt about the detail of those particular offences. And can I say this legislation recognises the repeat nature of offending by those few who fail to heed warnings and continue to offend regardless of the consequences. And these are the, are the people that you can't necessarily do anything with. They are a minority, and I think that's been made abundantly clear time after time after time. So um, we, prof we, we actually promised as a government, the national lead government, promised to get tough on crime, toughen up on criminals, and this bill does exactly that. So I'm proud to be supporting that with ACT as the coalition partners through the passage of the House. I called